Hello YouTube, it's uh, Jay from CB Outdoors. I've got another uh, shotgun review for you today. Well, not a new shotgun, uh, an old one that we've done our first impressions on a little while ago, about a year ago, something like that. It's got some uh, good views on the actual channel. Um, so what we do is we thought we'd bring you back and uh, obviously give you a full review of the actual gun and obviously give you that our thoughts really to be fair now I've had it for about a year I've shot the shit out of it um, loved it to bits and I thought I'll obviously share with you if you're in the market for obviously a B725 or a shotgun around 1700 quid something like that but we'll run over obviously the quick specs um, just for obviously your new viewers and obviously the people that haven't seen the first impression of the video um, like I said brand new B725 uh, black edition this one is chambered in uh, 12 gauge it's a 28 inch barrel uh, barrels that actually that come in the uh, B725 are 28, 30, 32. Gauges that they come in are 12 and 20 gauge, as far as I know. I don't know whether they're adding any other gauges uh, later on down the line. Um, there's a few different models within the B725 family. They do one, they do this one, obviously, which is a special edition, which is denoted by the um, grade three wood and also the black receiver and the Invector extended chokes as well. Uh, they do the standard model which is basically exactly the same gun obviously not not as good wood and obviously the receiver is aluminium instead of being obviously the blackout edition or well sexy black or murdered out edition if you like that sort of thing um, but yeah they're basically they're basically the same gun it's all within the same basis of the b725 they do one with an extended comb so obviously you can raise the uh, the rib and stuff like that they do one like a trap um, trap shooters gun or down the line something like that obviously with the heightened extended rib the gun actually obviously where it's a sporting clays model comes with a vented center rib and obviously a vented top rib as well so obviously where you're bashing through cartridges the barrels do get quite hot and obviously that just aids in obviously uh, dissipating the heat from the actual barrels um, barrels are invector backboard barrels so basically they're bored from obviously the uh, the muzzle end back to the, obviously the breech um, so what it does, it basically gives you a, um, a tapered forcing, uh, forcing cone, forcing cone, I don't know whether it's called that to be fair, but basically what it does, it's bigger at the actual breech end, and obviously as it goes up the muzzle, it's to the muzzle end, it's basically tapered. So as the shot's fired, obviously it's a bigger area, and the, um, the, the wad is basically squeezed down a smoother Pace. So that basically re reduces recoil and obviously gives you a better shot pattern at the obviously the uh, the muzzle end basically, um, and obviously aided by the uh, invector chokes as well, which has got a little brass sealing ring on them as well to obviously seal the barrel properly and obviously seal the barrel a little bit better than your standard just screwing threaded chokes. But I'll show you them in a second and obviously show you what the uh, when the choke what they're coming basically the little little box. It's that there. Little branded box, which is pretty nice to be fair. Um, triggers, it's a mechanical trigger, so obviously, if the first shot didn't go off, obviously, the second one will obviously pull the trigger again. The second one should go off, um, they're not reset by inertia. Trigger is adjustable for length of pull. There's a little screw at the bottom there, basically, you back the screw up and you can move it back and forward, three positions basically. Uh, length of pull can be adjusted on the uh, the butt pad as well. They do spacers, so obviously you can change the uh, the rear butt pad and obviously put spacers in there for obviously uh, changing length of pull. The uh, butt pad is an inflex butt pad. It has little grooves inside it, little leaves, which basically help the gun when it's shot from obviously flipping. Which obviously uh, when you shoot the gun, obviously you're aiming it up basically. So obviously. Um, the gun has a tendency to rise. These leaves try and obviously bring it down, which makes you get on the uh, the next shot a bit better. Uh, weight of the gun is it's obviously a lot heavier than a game gun. Um, I'll put in the uh, the notes and the little annotation on the screen to show you obviously the weights of the guns. Um, but I'll put a little link on the actual branding website, which goes through all the D725 family, so obviously you can see the complete range in its entirety. Um, but what we do is we go up close now. I'll show you the gun, um, obviously up close and personal, and then we'll go from there. Oh, quick one before we go there. Um, the gun has obviously two position safety, um, like any other obviously over and under shotgun. Uh, when it's in its safe position, you can select between upper and lower barrels that actually fire first, and obviously you push the button uh, forward for uh, live. This gun is totally, totally live, dead. Nothing in it at all. 
And what we do, we go up for a little bit of uh, uppy closey personal time, um, show the gun its entirety, we come back and then I'll give you my thoughts of the actual gun and obviously my personal opinion of the gun. Right, welcome back. Just before we uh, go through the uh, pros and cons and obviously give you my uh, personal review of the actual gun, um, I'll show you the choke case and obviously what comes in the actual choke case as well. Um, it comes with uh, five chokes, it comes with quarter, half, uh, full, cylinder and improved modified, three quarter, there you go. Right, um, it also comes with a lovely, lovely choke key. You can see it there. It's got nice big lugs on it as well, which basically index with the uh, chokes and gives you good purchase on it. So obviously you can tighten your chokes down and you've got no worries of them coming loose, obviously, uh, between stands or anything like that. It comes with three triggers. They're only, um, obviously, basically size of tongue. I'll show you one of the triggers. It comes with obviously a small one on the uh, the actual gun, which is gnarled a little bit. This one is a wider tongue with a gnarling, and the next one is basically the same size, obviously width of this one, but without the gnarling, so obviously traction. But it comes in obviously a nice little presentation case, which is lovely anyway. But I think this might be only for the European market. I don't think that you can get this in the uh, states. But yeah, let's give you my impressions of the actual gun. Um, great gun. Um, had no problems with it at all, uh, never had any misfires, never had any uh, light prime strikes or anything like that. Um, it's been great, but to be fair, I shoot uh, Game Boy White Gold, which are quite expensive anyway, to be fair, for a clay, clay cartridge, so you shouldn't have any problems with that anyway. I clean it more than I uh, clean my car, so obviously <laughs> it's well cleaned. Um, but to be fair, the reliability of branding has obviously been shown over the years anyway obviously the guns that they make are just spot on to be fair and the price point that they make them at is, is spot on as well um cons to be fair I've, I've, knowing what i know about the gun and the way it is i love it but obviously the price of the guns are quite dear um for the black model that's what i'm saying um, 2100 in the UK and about 1700 quid for the standard one. Um, not a lot of differences, like I said, between the uh, the standard and obviously the, the black edition. So, to be fair, I, I wouldn't buy the black edition if I was just looking for obviously a brand new B725, other than obviously the looks and the aesthetics of the actual gun. Um, they're, they're exactly the same, really. Um, if I was a new shooter, would I buy this gun? Yeah, definitely. Um, this is a great gun, well weighted, uh, mounts perfectly, um, like I said obviously it has the uh, Invector barrels as well, so obviously it reduces the recoil, the butt pad is smashing on it, um, it reduces recoil no end. You can adjust it in a couple of ways to obviously accommodate your length of pull, um, I'm 5 foot 7, I haven't got Inspector Gadget arms, um, so I haven't got long arms or anything like that and it suits me perfectly out of the factory. So to be fair, I wouldn't think the amount of adjustability in this actual gun, I wouldn't think you need to take it to a gunsmith and obviously adjust it, unless you get to a level well above from what I'm shooting. It makes me look <laughs> look pretty good in the actual clay gun, to be fair. Um, I shoot this as well as obviously my Beretta um, Silver Pigeon. That's a great gun. You can have a look at obviously on the channel and uh, we've got a review up of that basically. Um, but yeah, I like, I like shooting this gun. It's uh, really, really nice, really, really comfortable to shoot. Um, like I said, obviously you ain't got a great deal of recoil, so it's good for your uh, your newbies. Um, one thing, one little little con that I've seen with the actual gun regarding fit and finish is the um, the jeweling on the actual fin bob. They started to wear off. Obviously, I don't know whether it's indicative just to this gun or it's indicative to obviously the uh, the whole uh, black family. To be fair, so I don't know whether it's obviously it's just my gun or it's something or everyone else's. Obviously, uh, experienced the same problems with theirs. Um, obviously if you can hit me up in the comments if you've got one and obviously uh, just let me know whether it's only mine, mine fit and finish wise or it's uh, quite a few out there. But well, I've, I've had a look and um, you can't see any obviously problems with these guns to be fair. Like I said, brand in the spot on what they make. Right, so that's it, YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, obviously yeah, give us a like. 
If you uh, got any comments or anything like that, obviously hit me up in the comments box. If you like what we do on the channel, obviously uh, hit the subscribe button. It helps no end, to be fair. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.